What is up, everybody? Neil here, back with an Android game review. Um, I'll say Android because I am playing the game you see here on my Android device. I think it's also available for iOS, but I, I honestly did not check, but I imagine that it would be. So, um, I was thinking about what to review for um, this particular review, and I was looking at my wish list that I have on, in a Google Play, and this came across, and I realized I had enough... Um, credits to buy the game and see if it was as good as I remember it. So Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic is basically based on Roller Coaster 1 and 2 from the PC era of the game. So it's kind of, it's basically the predecessor to Roller Coaster Tycoon for mobile that um, they released. Uh, so it's, so granted Roller Coaster Tycoon for mobile is a little bit more eye catchy and modern as far as UI and graphics goes. But Roller Coaster Tycoon is basically a port of the original games, but for your uh, mobile device. So I'll jump right into it. So as far as levels go, you do get a few initial levels, but if you want to get additional levels, then you can um, unlock those. I think there's an in-app purchase in here somewhere to do that. Um, but as far as... Um, Ah, uh, there it is. So there is an, there are add-on um, purchases that you can make as far as getting additional worlds. Playing the game, you can, or when you play the game, you can unlock additional levels as well. But you do get started with a, very, a few different ones um, going on. So I'll jump right into it to show off some of the controls and what you get with the game. So in this case, I'll, um, I'll start with Dynamite Dunes, the second level in the game. You do get um, a little bit, or you do get these tips as well if you want, you're interested in that. As you can see, Dynamite Dune starts you off with a roller coaster that is already um, ongoing. So you can zoom in by pinching in and pinching out. Your goal is to get 650 guests into the park. Um, if you're kind of wondering what this park starts to reminisce or looks like, you, it's kind of like Ghost Rider from Knott's Berry Farm, so there's a bit of that as well. So uh, you can zoom in that far. It does get pixelated when you used to zoom in that much, um, but as far as that, so it all depends on how much you want to zoom in to begin with, and um, then you can build your park, upgrade, make changes, and do various things like that. So um, that roller coaster is going on, so I'll come on in over here. Um, if you touch the main gates, you can see various information like the, your park rating, uh, guests in the park, the admission price. I haven't been able to see as far as making that um, a paid admission and making your rides free. So I'm not sure if that's just a part of the mobile game or if that was there to begin with. As far as my memory is concerned, I thought you could um, uh, charge admission. So the buttons down here at the bottom will allow you to um, adjust the land, do footpaths, uh, plant plants and bushes and things like that so let's say I want to do plant this one so I want to plant maybe a few here so I'll double tap to um, plant those maybe I want some flowers um, as a means of um, decoration so it's a little bit of something there as far as decorations go um, you can do various put foot paths so if you want to create a um, um, Pass with a grade, you can do that, and then you can change the um, direction as well. So you can do um, that, or I guess I'm a little off there, so I'll go back a little bit. Um, I'll change the directions, I'll go over a little bit, and then I will. And it looks like it is still off, so I'll have to go back one and there so it's um i have built an additional path there um as far as building rides so we do already have uh um, a wooden roller coaster going on so let's or a mine train i think whichever one it was so let's build uh, this time i'll build a log flume so it's gonna cost around fifty six hundred dollars i have ninety four hundred dollars in the bank so i'm going to uh, let's see, I, or it does, it looks like it's going to, it does need, uh, uh, room to build, so, and it's a, it is a pre-built, um, ride, so there's that going on, and then, um, 
I guess at some point, some place here, there's going to be an entrance. So I'll use the controls here to rotate around and look for the entrance. So I do have the entrance here. Um, I'm going to demolish it. Um, or I guess uh, there's no undo button. But um, basically you... I guess I don't. I won't have enough money for that anymore. But there should. If this is, I'm still getting a little bit used to the controls. But um, there should be a place to demolish and um, uh, rebuild the ride if you want. So the only problem I have with the game itself are that is that the controls are a bit uh, finicky. So um, there is that to. Um, uh, consider when you are um, building or when you're building the um, uh, ride, your rides is to consider where your entrance is going to be, where you're going to place the ride if you have room for it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to load a game that I've already started so I can show building the ride. So I'm going to load the game. Uh, load time is pretty quick. So as you can see, I've built a monorail here already. I have the entrance over here on the uh, left side the exits on the right I have an entryway so um, customers can get to the right once I click on the entrance I can see the monorails uh, small monorail cars I have two trains right now I can do up to four and I can set the number of cars per train I can do a continuous circuit mode wait for a full load um, and very have various options there um, the main, I can change the main color scheme I can make the vehicles the same color or different colors if I want um, so I'll do different colors for train. So train one, I'll have that color set for train two. I'll do, let's say orange and blue. So that way, um, I know that there's two trains going on and which one's at where they're at. I have a Ferris wheel going on with a line there. So same thing here. And if you touch the, um, admission price, that's 50 cents. Same thing. Or I have a burger stand with a dollar fifty per burger. It's open. Same thing with a bathroom here. So with that, I'll build a ride. So I have a monorail, uh, Ferris wheel. So I want to do. Um, so let's say I want to do. A, I'll build a log flume, uh, and I'll click on build custom design, um, and then I'll have to at some point um, build a. Um, uh, path to get to the entrance. I'm going to give myself a little bit of uh, room to uh, build a ride. So I'll actually, I'll build a ride over here. So I have um, enough of a uh, uh, me means to um, build a path and have room for the entrance. So I'm going to. Um, so I'll have. A, I can build a photo section. Uh, um, I'll do, uh, I can do, uh, various turns and things like that. So I'll do, a uh, turn here and then I'll have an elevation to go up. Um, I don't want it to be too scary. So I'm going to build it up to here. Um, I'll do, uh, S bend to the right, um, turn it around and then maybe go down a little bit or down, go straight and see if I can get it going under here um, I'll have to so I'll have to actually go back and um, make it go straight a little bit more and so I'll zoom in a little bit for the effect so now I'm gonna I'll turn around a little bit go down down straight so um, I can um, do things like that. I'll do a S band left, uh, down a little again, or actually not down. Um, I want to go left, and I since I can go left, um, I'm going to go straight. I'll go up again to go over that, and then um, I'll go straight and. Um, provide some uh, weird minor thrill there and now I will build out the rest of the ride to uh, round it out so um, and then
So now that that's done, I can build my entrance and exit. So I'm going to put my entrance here, build that, and then I need to build an ent exit. So now that the ride is done, I can set, for example, admission price. I want to set my picture price at something that where um, I make money. Um, so I'll set my picture price at a dollar. I'm going to set my... Um, admission price to the ride at $1.50 but now the, my customers have to be able to get to the ride itself so now I'm going to have to build um, uh, oh. so now I'm going to have to build uh, um, um a footpath so that they can get to the um, not there so I'm gonna build that and I'm gonna have to rebuild that so now I have to get um, a footpath going all the way over to the right so I'll um, first thing I'll do is I'll build a footpath to the exit and now I'm going to build a queue line, so um, I'm going to have to build a line, so I want to make sure I have enough line um, room for the line in case it, the ride becomes popular, so um, I'm going to make it uh, weave around a little bit so that um, if it does queue up, then I have uh, room for um, all of my guests to get to the ride. So I have my queue line set. Um, I have a price set. So now I need to work on my quant number of log flumes. So I'm going to put, uh, 10 boats. So that way, so at the moment it seems like it's right. And if I need to adjust it, then I will adjust accordingly. So from here, I will, um, open the ride. So the ride will start going. You see the pictures flashing for the ride. So I'll follow the boats, make sure that the ride can get itself, um, through the ride. I have it opened in case, um, just to get it started. But, um, I am still also playing with the game a little bit just to test the mechanics out. But overall for me, it seems to be working all right. Um, so I have 10 bows there. Um, I want to minim I want to make sure I have enough room between both so I'm going to set the waiting time at uh 15 minutes so there is that um my first boat has made it to the top of the lift so I'm going to uh, take a look at it see how well that works um overall it's pretty good um since as you can see that I've with the additional five seconds I have between boats, it will add a little bit of time, so that way it gives more time for people to get through the line. Um, there's a little bit more uh, room so that for picture takers, I'm, I'm overthinking this a little bit, but with uh, pictures, there's uh, more room between people to um, take pictures where um, um, there's no other people in the picture. So, so far the ride seems to be going pretty well. Um, the lifts seem to be working okay. Um, I'm making, uh, our people, the price seems to be about right for the ride. So I can, um, make some money. Um, and now that I made a pretty long ride, I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I make money or before I can build something else and I need to, and, uh, make some money in general, um, 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 otherwise, so there is that. So now I guess the only other thing to consider or to look around is if there is a place for a, um, a photo booth or something like that, which I don't see. I'll assume it's part of the ride somewhere, but, um, I don't see anything, um, going on there. So, um, now I guess the only thing else I, I might want to do here is to build, uh, maybe a little bit of an attraction or um, something to uh, decorate the um, footpath a little bit. So I'm going to put some uh, lights here. Uh, I can only build a, a cross path, so I need to, I'll put uh, lights there. Um, people might need to, might want to sit, so I'll put uh, some benches there. And let's see, maybe some plants, so I'll put some plants there. Um, and maybe a, some plants over here, and then I may need, um, 
a litter bin. So granted, I don't have a so I should put I guess I should put trash cans near uh, bathrooms and then sporadically in other places. But overall, you get the gist of the game, and um, that's pretty much the bulk of that. So you can get and then you have various options if you want other. Um, effects so your currency is in dollars um, I'll do imperial temperature um, various other options are there as well so um, that's pretty much the bulk of the game and then from there you be, you'll have to make money so um, the cost of things will need to um, be considered I will you will need a higher for example um, mechanics and people like and uh, various employees so new shops water which, um, so I do need to hire, so mechanics, security guards, entertainers, so, um, I do want to hire, um, entertainers, so I'll, uh, so I'll hire an entertainer for there, and then I'll put stick a handyman, so, um, so I do want a handyman to um, be built there, and then I want a mechanic. Um, so hire a mechanic um, to um, make sure I have um, people to fix the rise if they um, break and things like that. So uh, and I'll have, or actually I have two mechanics, so I'll do one more handyman. So there's that so keep the park clean there's nothing to um for people to vomit or throw up or make a mess but keeping the park clean is of course another point of the game as well so that's really all there is for this if you've played the game before you know how it works if you haven't it's the idea is to accomplish the ver a variety of goals in the game like getting guests to the park build uh various rides and get um people coming into your park to begin with um so that idea is to make money build a successful park and go from there so that's all there is for this particular review the game is available as i mentioned already for android and google play it's five dollars and 99 cents i imagine it's the same price on the ios side but uh, as i mentioned i did not check but uh, the game is pretty much true to the original it's basically a port of the original game for pc but built for um, Android in this case, and you get yourself a fun roller coaster build or amusement park building uh, game. So that's all there is for that. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time. Mm -hmm.